hi guys welcome back to my channel as promised i am doing another tutorial for you guys in today's video i will be showing you how i do a forehead sewing with and without a lace closure i'm going to show you two methods first the traditional method where we use the wefts to close the weave and the second method i will show you will be a much easier method using a lace closure to begin, I do two cornrows going across the back of the head. This is to ensure that there is no pulling on the back hairline. I then proceed to do two cornrows on the left and right side of my client's head. Then I do the rest going back, starting with a center braid. The center braid is crucial for the closing part, especially if you decide not to use a lace closure. As I get halfway through the cornrows, I join in the end of the last cornrow this ensures a seamless finish. The next step is to add a weaving net. This will help you fill in the areas of the scalp where there is no hair and also helps the weave to last longer. As usual, I start sewing in the weft from the back.
Once I get halfway, I then begin to alternate between going across the head and then going all the way around. At this point, if you want to use a lace closure for the centre, you can and then just go across the back and sides until you finish. The closing part of the forehead weave is where most people struggle. In order for your closing to be smooth sailing, both sides of the head need to be symmetrical. You can't have more tracks added to one side. It needs to be even on both sides. As you do this, you will see the center of the head where there's no hair added yet forming into a round or square shape. This is a good thing as it will make the closing part very easy to achieve. If you have successfully placed the tracks in a symmetrical way, then at this stage, you literally just keep sewing in the weft all the way around, filling in every gap by placing the tracks as close together as possible.
to secure the end, just go over the last knot over and over again and then you're finished. 